Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shy, but you can call me Shattercat, so channel name suggests. And today we're watching Lost. Hello. I hope you guys are having a great Friday today. We are, of course, getting into more Lost. Uh, my last filming session was a bit of a marathon where I got through four episodes so i think that those episodes like bleed together for me a little bit not gonna lie but the last thing that i remember happening and hopefully this is the last thing that actually did happen was i'm pretty sure in the last episode we got a sawyer backstory um that extended uh his previous backstory so we got to learn more about his childhood and the reason that he was in australia to begin with and by some twist of fate, he also ended up in a bar that Jack's dad was in. So, I don't really know what that means for the show, but it is really, really interesting because Sawyer knows it. He knows that he had a little, um, a little exchange with his father, but Jack does not know it at this point. I'm pretty sure it was like a, a quote. He, he like quoted his dad or something like that. And it was an exact quote that his dad had said to Sawyer when they were both in Australia. So I think that we actually might have also gotten a little bit more of Jack backstory and what happened with like him reporting his dad um, and getting his medical license revoked. So a lot of really interesting stuff happening in the backstory. Of course, we also saw gosh who was it again oh yes it was uh boone when he was at the police station we saw sawyer being brought in i do have some questions because we at the end of the episode we learn that the guy that he went to go kill thinking that he was the reason that his entire family got um broken up actually ended up being the wrong guy and the person who gave him that information gave him intentional bad information basically because he wanted um to have this guy murdered so that was really fucked up but i assume that event connects to the to the event where we saw with boone in the in the uh, police station that's why sawyer was being brought in i assume but it also does make me wonder because i'm like okay a few days later he was on a flight to america you know like i'm i have some questions about that because i feel like if you shot someone you're typically not you know allowed to just go unless maybe there are some maybe he was being deported but still he committed a crime like i just don't know so maybe we will get more clarity on you know what happened there how he actually got on the flight but yeah a lot of really interesting backstory stuff that we got in the last couple of episodes um i'm not gonna hash it out all right now because y'all have watched the reactions and I'm sure you guys just want me to get into it this week. So let me stop my rambling right here and let's just get into it. Are we going to get more gin backstory this episode? I wouldn't mind it. Yes, we are. <laughs> Jigaman 꿈을 그렇게 쉽게 파는 사람에게 내 딸을 왜 줘야지? 따님은 제 꿈이니까요. 아버님. Uh, okay, are we actually going to get some insight into what he was doing for the dad's business? 
I'm sure this isn't shocking, but maybe it's interesting to know. He was speaking really, 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 really formally to his dad, where his dad was speaking pretty casually to him. I'm yeah, I was about to say, is he not just gonna get mad that. <sighs> What's going on? I don't know. I just walked up and started going off on her again. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, he still has the cuffs on him. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, well, we had in the episode where um, Kate learned that she knows how to speak English. And Kate was asking her why she lied, and she said something about lying for the people you love or something like that. So I was under the impression up until that point that she was over this man, but apparently not. Like, she still obviously feels something towards him. She knows what I'm going to do. So. Who で계시던기뻐하셨을까요? But then, we got cool, I feel like they're never going on that honeymoon. Because, again, if I'm re remembering correctly, wasn't she trying to leave him? And that's why she was in Australia, but maybe that's not the full story? Michael? Because I was confused at the same time. So I guess we'll see. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Yeah. I stuck my nose where it didn't belong. Oh my god, he's when still building this raft. I was protecting no. you. <laughs> oh yeah, from what? From Jin. You don't know what he's capable of. Hmm. It's not my problem. It's yours. Okay, okay. That's a bit. I understand, you know, getting slapped doesn't feel nice. But I think that you have to like maybe see it from her perspective a little bit. I'm not saying that he has to be happy with her, but I don't think that he should be so snippy. So listen, I know things got kind of nasty down there at the beach, and um, I figured, you know, you might need to relax. Come on, dude, I'm trying here. You want to be an outsider? It's your business. Do you think this is going to hold? Oh my gosh, I really, really do not think that he should be going out on this raft with his son. Maybe we should get some rope, spend a Saturday night alone together, and see what happens. Oh. That was forward. Your brother's not gonna like that. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this raft actually looks pretty I legit. I love New York, Walt. No city like it. No, 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 no. What no. I really want Do to show you in New York promises right are the now. buildings. It's the architecture. Buildings? <laughs> yeah, I used to say that too till I saw the flat iron. Why? You just got to see it, man. You want to see it, right? I guess. <laughs> Can I go throw the Vincent? Yeah. I sure, mean, yes, the raft looks good, but I still, I'm not. How, like, where, like, you guys, it just, 
It seems really hopeless, honestly. And it feels like he's like dooming his kid. Got this bamboo for the decking. Got a piece of the fuselage for a cabin. Some storage bins. Yeah, there's a lot of talk going on about what's going on in this thing with you. I only got room for four people. It's one open spot. Took Who's the other the one. Third? What's the matter, Doc? Oh, I left out. Silly. Doug, I would not be volunteering to go on this thing. I'd rather take my chances hoping that somebody would come find us. Please, son. He's my husband. Yeah, a husband you're afraid to tell you speak English. She got a point. I understand, son. He wasn't always like this. After he started working for your dad. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Hey, Charlie, what's going on? Rock, on fire, look! What? Was that you, Locke? Oh my god. Look, as much as I was like, I don't think that they should go out on this thing, that sucks. No! No! That was sabotage, man. Where is he? Ooh. We don't know that Jin did this. Are you serious? Sawyer? Shut up. Jack, come on. We saw him on the beach this that morning. That doesn't mean that he tortured Yeah, then who did, Jack? Okay, you guys have more pressing issues right now, like getting this raft under control. Maybe we can talk about who did it after. You want to go here? Don't touch us all. It's not looking good. Your case is not looking good. I couldn't. He's home as a little tight to secure the door. Can't they? We cruise it. Michael. You need to check a model check him. Jig is with that. Kongjang Gigi and Nagan girl check a mini check. Hadji Motes. Channel Moon check. Harago. Pudding Ganigo. Channel Sunji Yegir. Harago. Purungoya. 이제 자네가 내 새로운 보좌관이 되어지게 한변찬이라고 아나? 환경차관 말씀이십니까? 오늘 밤 메시지를 그에게 전달해 주게 내가 섭섭한 점이 참 많아서 그래 당신 누구시죠? 회과장님 밑에서 일을 하고 있습니다 미스터 코안 네 들어오세요 여기 회장님의 메시지를 전하러 왔습니다. 제발 부탁합니다. 우리 딸 앞에서만은. <웃음> What the? 회장님 <웃음> 굉장히 섭섭하십니다. Why was? Oh my god. Why can't I find his name right now? Shit. Hurley. Oh just on TV. 그래요? 아, 고맙습니다. 고마워요. 회장님께 앞으로는 섭섭한 일 없도록 하겠다고 전해주세요. Wow, okay, so they're all friggin' connected, aren't they? Uh... <sighs> what do you want? I'd like to talk to you about Shannon. It's very possible your sister and I are going to become more than just friends. You want my blessing or something? I was extending a courtesy, not asking your permission. Let me tell you about my sister. She likes older men, guys who can take care of her. My guess is in this place you fit the bill. She'll make you feel like the greatest guy ever while you get her food, whatever it is she needs. And when she gets what she wants, she'll move on. When she does, don't take it personally, man. <sighs> Messed up my ride, Chief. Oh. Hey, there you are. 
Come help me with this. I'm completely destroying it. Did his... Did her brother's words get to him? Perhaps you should find another friend to help you with your shelter. You've been talking to my brother, haven't you? Isn't it weird to refer to somebody he had sex with as your brother? It's just like... I don't know, some level of cognitive dissonance. There has to be. Who? Where is he? Don't know. Well, if you do see him, tell him to keep his stupid mouth shut. And if he has something to say, he can leave Saeed out of it and come say it to Should my I face. be writing this down? Do you like him, Saeed? Because if you do like him, what's it got to do with your brother? Everyone gets a new life on this island, Shannon. Maybe it's time you start yours. Is this man like the prophet or something? Is he just here to dole out life lessons? We're scared, huh? Scared, you understand? Scared, don't you? I mean, what are you gonna do with him? Folks down on the beach might have been doctors and accountants a month ago. But it's Lord of the Flies time now. Wow, He is truly at their back and call. Yeah, Kong Jumble Taki, Mandarata, Ibaji. Message what John Han. Nimun Yok Demine. Yashido for Sonny Ponjur. I'm John Chibe. He's a Terajo. He's a Hanango Poko. Damn. Nigga, you're good now go to Wamyan. Damn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is he gonna oh, okay, no, he's not gonna go home. Ah, okay, we saw this part. Do the job because of Busan Yir Hanengoa? Abonim is chicken under a hot bunia. Tao would do who is a hunger. What a friggin' mess. He needs his her dad's approval to be with her, but in order to get her dad's approval, he needs to do things that's going to make her not want to be with him. Like what a conundrum. Hey man, you buy my rap! Just calm down. Step and aside. Think of Step aside. Slow down. Man. Just hey. calm down. Calm you down. Does he recognize him from the TV? Sorry, I thought that he was having a moment of recollection. And I was like, that is some crazy ass memory you got. No, no, no. You said something to me? Michael? Huh? Michael? No, no, no. Michael? Said it! Uh, uh, hey, hey, easy. Oh One fight at a time. 
He's right. This is between them. 이미 불타고 있었어. 손을 좀 봐. Stop it! Leave him alone. Yeah, I knew it was coming out. He didn't burn your raft. He, but his hands. This would be so trippy. <laughs> Someone you know that did not understand you this entire time turns out to be speak English. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> you understood us all this time. Why didn't you say anything? Your raft was already on fire when he arrived. Uh, he was burned he trying his to hands, put it out? trying to put it out. Then why do you run? My husband is many things, but he is not a liar. How do we know she's not covering for it? Because she isn't. Why would he burn the raft? He's been after me since day one. Everybody knows it. Okay, it's personal. But why take it out on our best chance of getting off the island? Why would any one of us block an attempt to get home? I feel like attempts have been blocked a few times. That the problem isn't here, it's there. They've attacked us, sabotaged us, abducted us, murdered us. Maybe it's time we stopped blaming us and started worrying about them. We're not the Walk only people the on this island, and we all know it. It's true. It's true. As much as I have been, you know, and, and obviously met other people on this island, and as much as I've, like, been thinking that pretty much, not since the beginning, beginning, but pretty early on, I still didn't really think of them as being the people who could have done this. You know, I was still thinking that it was somebody within the group. I am still unsure why she had to lie about knowing English. Like what the benefit of that was. I can't salvage a thing. Pontoons the decking. Why it burnt up all the twine? Damn it! Damn it! I'm sorry, man. It's okay. Let's start over. It was interesting to learn more about his background. You're gonna go with another one? Yeah. Because I was so a better one. that he was just sort of like Can I help? absent for no reason. No doubt you or can no help. Good reason, I should say. <laughs> Come on. But to learn that like the mom was Keeping him away for whatever reason was eye opening. I was going to leave you. I was going to get away. Do you understand that? But you made me change my mind. You made me think that you still loved me. Yabo. We need to get stuck here. I don't know. Is this his dad? So he's not dead. What the? Young Sasha. Why did you go? Why did you go? Why did you go? Why did you go? I don't know why they're not giving the translation, but his dad is saying it's okay. Maybe it was obvious. Maybe that's why. This action not in Saramia. Aju ye pugo. Your turn. There was up so yo. And you were Marlon, eh? Abuni me de hanchin shiro. Go ege chick chup yegi has go up so yo. Tashi shiaka go shipo yo. And you crumb with Tashimote. Changin 
미국으로 가. 응? 그래서 너희 결혼을 살려라. 인트레스팅. See, I feel like I was under the impression in the first flashback that he went to the airport to go retrieve her. Now we know that he had a job to do. Could have been on. Ooh. No one on just so. I love that we're getting more backstories for these characters that are kind of like changing your perspective on the original backstories that we've gotten. But there are still some characters that we haven't explored yet that I really hope that we do. I mean, I guess, honestly, the only one I'm really, really thinking about right now is Hurley. I would love to learn more about Hurley now that we saw him in Jin's flashback. Um, I'm hoping that we get one. Am I the only one who thinks or who what wonders on like shows where people are like Everyone deserted gets a or whatever? Life on this Just and when they kiss her or something, I'm always like, how do they smell? I wonder if they smell fine. Maybe. I hope so. Got yourself an opponent. Harley owes me eighty-three thousand dollars. <laughs> I mean, they better get off this friggin' island just so he can pay his debt. Where's your pop? Down at the beach, I think. You have a dad? Everyone's got a dad. Is he cool? No. Mm. No, he's not. Hey, you mind if I ask you something? Sure. Why did you burn the raft, Walt? Oh, plot twist. Don't worry, I'm not going to tell. You must have had a really good reason. Maybe that it seemed like a friggin' death sentence. I don't want to move anymore. I've been moving places my whole life. So you just want to stay on this island forever? I like it here. Interesting. I, I would not too. like it here. <laughs> uh, after like camping two nights, I am done. I'm like, let's go back home. Let me charge my phone somewhere. And I feel like if I was the only kid on an island, that would just be depressing. <laughs> that would suck. But apparently Walt loves it. Boat. Oh, it's helping rebuild. All right. I still don't love Jin, not gonna lie. I mean, he still has had a very problematic aspects to his character, but I like that I understand him more. He's kind of like Sawyer in the sense that like, don't love Sawyer as a person, but I love learning why Sawyer is the way that he is, and it like makes sense, you know. And so you can have empathy for the characters, while still like not totally loving them. Oh, she can let it off. Liberation. I wonder what they filmed this. I don't think I know that. What? I thought that those were my, my headphones for a second. <laughs> that would suck, though. She's like, girl, oh, right? I guess I'm never listening to music ever again. Okay, guys. Would it be surprising if I said that that was another good episode? I hope not. Um, so we got more backstory on Jin and Sun on Sun, I guess. It was mostly focused around Jin and like, I really, as I was saying in the reaction, like I love how they were able to reframe the previous um, flashback that we got from them because 
I was totally under the impression in the first flashback that Jin had killed a man, you know, that he was killing people for this business. Like we hadn't, we didn't know at that point if this was like just a thing that had been happening for a while, right? Like it was just presented to us like, you know, he's obviously in some shady dealings because of this business and somebody shows up with blood all over them. Like you're gonna assume that the person on the other end of that was murdered, right? So we learned this episode that he didn't actually murder him. He actually was able to get this man's life spared. Obviously, you know, getting involved with, um, with the uh, son's father's business. I still don't really know what the business is. I don't think it, I don't think it really matters, but I would, I'm kind of curious as to what it is. Um, obviously getting involved with that business, you know, changed him a lot. I mean, how would it not, you know, like what a, what a conundrum. I think that it's easy to just say like, you know, walk away from a situation like this. But at the same time, I know, I mean, he obviously loved Sun very much and wanted to be with her. And um, in Korea, I just like the way that they respect their elders, especially like parental figures is like different, I think, than we do in North America. Like it's a lot stronger. So I, you know, I feel for him in that sense because, you know, it's not like when he decided that he was going to be a part of the business, like that they started him on a hundred, you know, they like trickled. It's like, you know, putting a frog in water and then like turning up the heat. So it was just an unfortunate situation all the way around. And I do feel for him for that. Um, but at the end of the day, like he still ended up treating some like, shit, I guess, because of it. And so it's hard for me to uh, like his character when I feel like he has shown his wife so much disrespect. <sighs> but yeah, no, it's definitely nice to understand his character a little bit more going into this episode or coming out of this episode, I should say. Learning that Walt was the one who burned the freaking boat. Oh my God, I was not expecting that at all all at all he wasn't even on my radar and i'm sure i'm sure that was the point right but my god he was not on my radar so yeah that was a really really big shock but it was a really good shock it wasn't like a that doesn't make sense sort of twist it was it was definitely something that uh aligned with the characters and with the show but yeah, I mean, I was still convinced that that thing was going to like capsize in the middle of friggin' nowhere and then the people who were on it were just gonna die. So I was not, I, there was no part of me that had any faith in that raft whatsoever. I, I mean, it looked, it, it looked impressive. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like it looked impressive. Like he had done a much better job than I thought that he was going to do. Like I thought it was just going to be like one of those wooden rafts that you like sort of like sew or stitch or whatever the hell together and that they were just gonna go out to sea. So that was definitely a lot better than what I was expecting. But yeah, I'm just, I mean, I don't, there are obviously a lot of mysteries to be uncovered with the show still, but I mean, I just feel like they're literally in the middle of nowhere. So I'm like, where would you even go? I feel like, but you know, I also understand you know, you might as well try. But I feel like if you, you're, you're gonna try, why not go by your friggin' self? <laughs> not Maybe not by yourself, but like maybe Michael and Sawyer and whoever the third passenger was going to be could go. And then if they could find civilization, then they could go back for Michael, or sorry, sorry, uh, Walt. I don't know, is that just me? But I just feel like it's so risky to put your kid on something like that. Like, I just don't think that I would do that that way. So, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter in the end because it got burned. But Jin is now helping out. And we had him helping out uh, 
Hurley in an earlier episode. Was it last episode or the episode before with getting fish? So like he's coming around to being a part of the group. He knows now that Sun knows English. I'm still very curious as like why she felt like she couldn't tell him that. I'm not very clear on that at the present moment, but yeah, guys, I really enjoyed this episode. What a surprise. And I'm about to head into the next one. So I will see you guys next week with more loss. Please take care until then. Bye.